So, in this episode, we're going to be doing really well. We're going to get a new weapon. Um, we don't get it towards the until the end, but our damage jumps way, way up to 5,600. We're going to be a lot better off now. Did I just open that? All right, let's get into this. Hello, and welcome back to episode 5 of Path of Exile, Settlers of Kalgur. We're doing a build guide for new players for Cyclone. It's going to be Cyclone of Tumult. And we're a Slayer this time. We just did the Cyclone of Tumult Juggernaut. I liked it a lot. And I want to see how the Slayer plays out with this new things that are being introduced. We're being overrun by chickens. Let's get these guys out of here. Nice. And what I did in between episodes, and I'll show you what I did with very little, it was just this. I, I decided to get a four link. So what I did was I looked on the uh, trade site. I had that one chaos. I think I had two. So I spent one chaos on this. And... It's three greens and a red. Now, the reason why I went with a mix of armor and evasion is because the likelihood of getting one red and three greens on an armor-based, strength-based is really kind of low. So I just said, okay, show me a four link with um, these colors. And let's see how I do that. I'll bring it up right now. And here's the search. So I went there, I went into show filters, and I said, hey, show me some armor body armor let me drop that down and i said at least 222 armor and then four link it you know four links minimum and then i said three of them are going to be green and one red that's the red spot so i just typed in a one a three and a four and then i said the max level i want is 34 because we're about to hit 34 anyways so the, the level requirement has to be under that and then down here i said um the max i want to spend is one chaos so i searched and sure enough let's see if there's any uh any oh here's one and i looked at it and i said oh this would be nice i don't think i don't know if they were spawned or maybe this is the one i bought um i don't think that's the one i bought but let's go take a look so i bought one of them and i whispered them i just said copy whisper done deal or you can direct message them and we'll pop it into the game so let's see what we have to do to fix this now so I went and got um, close combat support from uh, Town 2, the vendor in Town 2. On the second tab, she has, sells them, and I bought close combat support. Now, this isn't going to be the final one because we use a travel skill. It literally is. Oh, that's a, that's a movement skill. Does it say travel skill? Will that go away? Will I get combat rush? Not supported by close combat. Travel skills not supported... Combat Rush grants 20% more attack speed to travel skills not supported by that. That's kind of lame. Oh well, so I don't care about that part. But the what I why I wanted is that 20 28% more damage if enemies are close. And the close is pretty it's it's not nearby, it's close. It, it it's the the almost the it, it, it's the full uh range of our AoE. So we're in good shape there. So I went into POB and tested it, and it was true. It does add that, but we won't see it on here. So when I put this on here, and I go over here, you won't see this number change. We're like, why doesn't it go up? Well, it doesn't. It's, an, it's a conditional. There has to be a monster within close range. Then it adds that more multiplier. So we're going to definitely feel the difference as, as far as um, fights go. So we're in good shape there. We did the thing. Um, oh, and then I added two armor scraps to it, two of these, to that. Just by going like this, you right click on this and it improves the quality, which adds more a 20% more multiplier to the armor and the evasion. You just go like that and then it gets it up to 20%. Each one did 11%, so it capped out at 20. Nice. Let's sell this off and we're going to see what's going on with our uh, place here. Ooh. Let's sell to him. We'll get rid of that. Let's take a look at our stash. Uh, the path of building will be down linked below and it will be updated with whatever the end result here. So it should be up to date after this episode as well. Good. Um, we're in good shape there. We're going to be making another chaos off of these. We've been selling them on the trade market by putting it in here and selling it even without our premium tab. It still works. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, we could put this away. We'll deal with this later. Oh, we're going to check the price on this. Let's see if we if we do it. Currency exchange. Um, nobody's bought that. I didn't expect them to. Well, let's just cancel that. Nobody's going to buy that. So we'll take that back out. And we'll use it ourselves. 
what is that lightning uh, blah 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 we'll figure out something with it maybe um but i have this oh it doesn't let us sell the cards interest really so it doesn't let us sell cards i never noticed oh it does right there lucky connection and i want um currency i don't know something cheap um orbs of alchemy i think are the cheap you know, the next step down from that. Where are these things? They look like... Where are... I mean, does anybody see them just popping out? I mean, they should be up here towards the top, but they're not. Really? They're not in this section. Are they down here? No. Eldrick, the regular currency. Orb of Alchemy right there in the middle. Uh, One to one. There's no market for it. I guess we could actually be the market. Sure, let's just put that in there and see what happens. And a regal orb, really? Uh, there's no market for that. Regal orb, there's got to be. We'll, we'll sell it real dirt cheap, one. Maybe somebody will order it and see it on there. We'll just do it. It cost us 25 gold for a risk, no problem. Oh, and I got to turn this thing off. I don't want pride on there yet. We're going to make, this is going to become a free aura pretty soon at level 38, so we'll be in good shape there. And what else can we do? We got a shipment coming in. Hello. Town improvements. We could do a town improvement now. Do we want to improve that one? Let's see. Probably. Um, it's a little bit of a, a, a dilemma here. Let's see. Need something smithed. Do we have enough of this stuff? 10, 8, and 6. How much do we have? If we have enough, we could upgrade the smelter, but... Um, that just increases the smelting speed, so we won't do that one next. Maybe the the farm we could upgrade? Let's go find out, figure out something here. I would like two farmers. That would be nice. Yeah, let's do that. And then what do we get? Plus two farming plots, but 1,200 gold. We don't want to do that. So let's see if we can get another farmer working. What is this one working on? Corn? Ooh, we need another farm, don't we? We need a farm after that, even. Whoa, lots of stuff to do here, guys. So let's go over here. Do we have any farmers? Like Not a miner, so we're going to re-roll, I guess. Ooh, we got a farmer. A tier 2 farmer. Hire him. And... That's okay for now. And look at this. 104 for a tier 2 farmer. But he has mining. But we weren't, we wouldn't use them like that. So he just costs more? How much does this guy cost per hour? Um, farmer 34. Oh, so he is, so he could farm too. Same cost, 34, a little, a little less even. Odd. And he has a secondary job. Hmm. We'll hire both of them. We'll get two farmers going. So, but the thing is we can't, they, they this guy can only work on, you know, this, this is going to be a pumpkin farm and we'll put them both to work on it. This guy and... This guy. Okay. We're in good shape there. We probably don't have any iron ore to be mined. Um, yeah, no ore to be mined. They're just sitting over there doing nothing, which is fine. And then what about this guy? Um, can we upgrade him yet? Nope. What about the rune thing? Can we upgrade that yet? Oh, here it is. Unlock. Interesting. Can runesmith bound runes? Okay. Can we actually do something on this? We can. Um, oh, and it knows the runes we have back there. I don't want to spend all eight sun runes on this. So we'll just do this one. And we'll just add some fire damage to it, I guess. Or we could get them to ignite. Now we'll do the fire damage. Just raw fire damage, I guess. What is this? Burning inlet have a 10% chance to explode, dealing a tenth of... Th that would be great. Um, if we could actually make them, I don't think we're, we'd set them on, we don't have anything to set them on fire though. So we can't do that, but this is still cool. Enchanted. There. Today's now we do even more damage. Very cool. Ooh, 13. Did that really go up that much? I don't, I don't know why, but, and plus we have the, the other thing on there. Very nice. Um, I'd like to probably upgrade this too pretty soon. 
and then let's take a look at this. Um, upgrade, yeah, let's upgrade this. They and we won't we do that. Let's see, 14, you. how much stuff? 14, 12, how many of these do we have? We could do that. And wheat, do we have enough wheat? Where's the wheat down here? Is that wheat? That's wheat. 10 wheat, sure, let's do it. And how much gold do we have? Barely enough. And we're doing 114 an hour. Plus two to the crew. No, we won't do this upgrade yet. But we can go in here what now. Shipping. And we'll, oh, we'll select this new place. So they're going to give us 19% or 90% bonus for shipping there and there. And this guy will only give us a 20% bonus. Let's go here. So select port. Done deal. And we're going to add. And what does he want? Ore calcum. We'll try to sell it as bars instead of ore. And then corn. So we're going to sell them, send them some corn. We got a lot. So we can just go up until it, yeah, see, until it goes up. We'll sell them that much. 35 corn. Done. Set sail. There you go, buddy. Sail is locked. Nice. Pretty cool. Okay. Next up, right back into the campaign. So there's a lot of uh, housekeeping there, just fun stuff, easy stuff. We got this ring that allowed us to get rid of the life gain on hit. And we're just flying along here. Nothing, no gems in these things yet. Easy stuff. Let's go take a look at the campaign, Act 3. And we're going to go right back over here. And you can click on these to tell us where to go. And sure enough, it's all that way. Let's see if our new... <laughs> oh, is this where the Gravisius fight is? Uh, not bad. We need a little more... We still need a little more oomph. I mean, that's come. That's going to come down to a weapon. We need to get a better weapon on there. And that's going to happen shortly. See that guy? Uh, yeah, we're going to definitely need a better weapon. But we're going to get one. No worries. Here, let's. here's the Gravisius fight that we did before. And we'll... Put that thing down. Knock, knock that guy out. This guy out. So I think it was pretty similar to the... Yeah, this was similar to the um, Molten Strike fight. We just need a better weapon. That's what it comes down to right now. We're very tanky. We're a little over overly... Ta we're, okay, we're a lot overly tanky right now, but cool. All right, let's spend this point, and we're going to go for more damage. So we we're working our way up this way. Here we go. Attack speed, physical damage, perfect, perfect, perfect. Bunch of damage and stuff. So 1388. 1540. Oh, somebody's hitting us. There we go. More damage. Very cool. And I think it's this way, but uh, it actually might. This might be the. Yeah, this is the way off to the side. So we got to go back over there. See, this is this way. Let's just do this. And we're going to go right back over there. It's off to the side over to the right. So we're going to go in this way. And we'll let this load up. If there's a lot of MTX in the area you're loading into it, it loads in slower. And it's going to be over here somewhere. Ooh, we get a chest. I'll take it. Oh, it froze us. Ugh. Don't like that. <laughs> but we're going to have a solution for that as well. Oh, there it is right there. There we go. Imperial Gardens. This is where we can buy a lot of different... Um, there's a library in here where, where we can buy almost any gem. So we're going to be in good shape now. Whereas we are limited before. Now we'll, we'll see what we can do. And we'll just go through here like this. We'll see what's available to us. We might go with a red, red, green. That, or, you know, a red... A green, green, red, red um, item. But we'll see. Ooh, Cassia. Maybe we can get some oils out of her. Let's go find out. Nothing around? Let's do it. This is the tower defense, if you didn't see it the last episode. So we're going to say, I'm going to put a slow down one here. Then I'm going to put a big hammer one here. And then this is going to empower that. So we'll upgrade it again. That should be hitting that now. And we're in good shape. Now, this could branch off that way. you got to kind of watch on this screen. See, there's the red guys appearing on the path. So we're going to go over here. 
Then she said new roots. Now, where are they? They're just right here still, so that's okay. And I'm just going to focus on upgrading, not building new towers. I'm going to upgrade the towers that we have. There we go. And I'm going to upgrade this one right back here, just as so those fail safe as well. We should be completely fine. We'll upgrade that one. And we can actually put um, Blight and Chance on our rings, too. Um, I usually don't do that till later. But you can do that to enhance the power of these things. And we'll scoop it up a little bigger there. And then we'll get a bigger stun one. Let's do that one next. See that guy slowing them down, zapping them? These are easy, easy fights early on like this, though. Nice. There we go. Get all the loot. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, Colossal Flask? Ooh, we'll take that. Even though I'd rarely, very, rarely use a heal. Oh, I didn't want to pick that up. I'll just leave it there and we'll bender it. Okay. What did we get? Come on, oils. Ooh, nice. We're going to do this. Uh, we're going to anoint our item. Actually, we might anoint the next item we bought. We're going to buy one other item for it instead of that one. We might do that now just for fun. And what is this? I need that and that. What are these? Ooh, if that had movement speed on it, we could probably sell it, actually. But nope. So this is going to be important, and this is going to be important. And we'll ID this as well, but we're just going to vendor it. We don't really care about any, you know, the likelihood of us finding anything better than what we have is zero at this point off the ground, because these are just really good. 35% movement speed. I'm completely happy with that. Also, I think we had life on our... Ah, we did have life on there. So let's... We're going to have to go back to um, our hideout. And remember this tag or this uh, thing we took right here? Um, actually, right here. This one right here. We're going to have to remove that. Now, we're going to have to do it with... Let's do it with gold. Because we have a life tag on our chest. So we're going to have to go respec. And we'll respec with gold, I guess? Yeah, why not? What have you got for me? Respec. You don't know Chunk. You don't know now, do how much? You? 191? What is... How, what's the cost? Apply? Where does it... Where did it say how much it... You know... 263 greater than sign? I don't know what that... I don't know. So we've got another point to spend, but we won't spend it quite yet. Um, Actually, I know where we're going to go. We're going to spend it right over here. And then we're going to end... We're going to aim for that one. That's fine. And then we'll also get this one too. More uh, area damage. So we've done that, but we have to go back to our hideout and actually enchant that um, chest. Let's put this in here and see what we can do. We're going to craft on it. And we're going to put life on it. 25. It's a pretty low roll. Oh no, it's a high roll. And this is only rank 1. These go way up. There we go. Back over 1,000. Cool, cool, cool. And Imperial Garden, we'll jump back in, and we'll keep going. Now, there's a few things we have to do in here. Um, we're going to have to do the last of the trials. We did all the other ones, and it's going to be over here in the corner. Can I jump over that? Nice. Getting stronger. 34. Hmm. What was that on the ground? Take it to vendor it. Again, now we don't have to worry about all the rings that we find. We can just vendor them. Um, if there, if, the, if you find a ring with a bunch of life on it and a bunch of resists, usually people would want that. Um, so you might be able to vendor or sell that, but right now I just vendor them off. We're pretty close. If I happen to notice it, I'll take a look at it. We'll see. I'll show you what I mean by that. Yeesh. I need a better weapon. There's a great sword there. Yikes. Look at this guy. He's a tough guy. Life regen on top of that. Ooh -wee. Come on, buddy. And done. Life regen is not... And physic. He had two bad things for us. He was physically resistant and uh, that other one, too. There's nothing on here? Ugh. There we go. There we go. Let's check this sword out. Might just be flat out better than ours. Um, No way is that going to be better than us. 
accuracy of 1500. Nope. By about 60% worse or 30% worse. Oh, and the chitin is right up here. Sometimes it's here, sometimes it's other places. And this is just going to be, uh, we're going to take this to the docks in a second. Okay. And we're going to run up here. And right over here is where the, uh, the trial is going to be. And to the right is a crafting option. We're going to go get that. Maybe it's a good one. All attributes, not bad. Something. All of them are freed up. Very cool. And we'll hide out of this. And now we're going to go back to find that we're going to find the um, entrance to the library, which is right over this way. It should be going to be the left of this area. Let's sprint and jump. It's going to be right there. Come on there. There it is. Nice. And let's go get the um, waypoint. And there's a quest to do in here. Very easy stuff. Get this guy going. This guy. What's the item level of that ornate sword? Item level 30. Nope. We're going to need a, a higher item level to get you know, chances at better stuff. Lock this out. Just having fun, relaxing, easy stuff, guys. If you have any questions down below, let me know, and we'll go from there. These tinctures, I don't think they sell for, it for very much at all. I never was able to sell one in the regular league when I played through on my other account. And we'll just knock these guys out, knock these guys out. We need a new weapon. But we can go faster, and here's the guy we're going to have to talk to. He wants us to do a quest in here. We're going to be able to do that in a second. I'm going to go down to town and sell all this stuff. And we're going to go talk to him, too. Let's go to the docks, and then we'll do that quest. Just like this. Give him the plum. And we'll take oh, the rarity ring, I guess. Life. Yeah, we'll do the rarity ring. Yuck. Yuck. <laughs> we'll upgrade that. Ooh, our weapon, our damage is going to go up 1586. 1635. That's another way to get more damage. Nice. Um, let's ID these two. Uh, life global, not good enough. Nope. What about this one? Some life, some mana, no. It needs some resist, some life, and then, then that might be a sellable item. Alright, I'll sell this and I'll be right back. And I mean vendor. <laughs> I was thinking about replacing this, but there's not a lot of really great options. Um, I don't mind that we're going to be full life while we're spinning by hitting those things, but sometimes we dip down and then we lose that 60% increase. It's not a more multiplier, but we also get other things from it, and I, and I wanted the movement speed too, so I'm happy with that. So let's anoint it. Let's see if we can actually do some anoints. Is Cassia in here yet? Hello, Cassia. Well, there she is. Hello. And... Will it pull out of our chest? No, it wouldn't pull out of our chest. So we're going to have to get the... Uh, we're going to have to go into here. Why did I have those in there? What in the... Don't know, don't know how those ended up in there. That? we. Okay, I'll just put it over there. But these two. Interesting. And then I'm really hoping we can get something out of this. And what about this? We'll put this here. And we'll vendor that off. Okay. So, Cassia, anoint an item. We're going to actually anoint this item if we can find something good. So we're going to put two of those in with one of these. Maximum Rage. That would be cool if I, if I had Rage yet, but I don't have Rage. So let's take that one out and put that one in. Retaliation, Skills, Fortify, and Melee Hit. Nope. We don't have Retaliate. Um, can we mix it up with... We only have Sepia, Clear. What about... I think this is going to be the retaliation stuff. Nope. So I just don't think we have enough yet. What about that one and that one? Chance to block. We don't do that. Yeah, we can't mix them up. We don't have enough to mix them up yet. Recover mana when you have a tinct when you activate a tincture. Nope. We can't quite do it. We're looking for them though. Depending on what oils we get, we'll throw it in there. For now, we'll just put them back. They go back into our other tab, which is a, uh, an affinity is set for Blight. 
So they go in there. Okay, we'll deal with it. So we're going to go find... He wants us to find um, these golden pages. So we're going to find them, and there's a candle on a wall that, that we have to pull the lever on. Let's go find that. And it's going to be on a north wall. I'll show you what I mean by that. Or a northeast wall type thing. Oh, easy there, buddy. There it is. It's going to be on a wall that faces this way, or a wall that goes like that. Most of the time it's on a wall like this, I think. I don't know if I've ever found it. Yeah, I found a wall like this, dude. But it won't be on a wall like this, or like this, because it's hard to see it, see? So it's always going to be on a wall like that, or that. We open it up. And now we can go in here. And we're going to get the four pages in here. So I'll do that, and I'll be right back. And we have to spend a point. We're going to spend it right here. What will that do to our damage? 1635, 1696. Nice. And we're going to get a massive upgrade once we get a weapon. I mean, it, it jumps from like <laughs> 1000 DPS to 4000 to 8000 to 16000. It just jumps up a lot. Pretty cool. Worst case, we get a new weapon at level 40. So um, we're going to buy a weapon. That's just a devastating weapon. It's going to make our we're going to be four times as powerful so worst case scenario we wait till 40 but I, ideally i don't want to wait that long we'll see and the thing is we could it's not a big deal i just like being able to kill things really super fast versus a little slower than super fast but i mean everything's dropping there it's just the big big chunker guys are still you know this kind of stuff easy i'll take all that there we go we got all four of them we'll just go out this way and go right back to the library by going like this. Right there, right there. We should bring some, uh, let's see, because you could, you need to have the currency on, on you to buy stuff from him. So what is he gonna offer here? Fortify support, that would actually be more fun than, um, than it wouldn't be as deadly as close combat, but it would be fun to have. Fortify is nice, but we're tanky enough without it. Let's see what else we can, he's going to give us. Pulverize? That would be awesome, too. Oof. I really want Pulverize, so we're going to get that one. And we're just going to start leveling it up. Increased area of effect. Supported skills have 15% less attack speed, but we have more area damage. So we swing slower, but we do more damage. We're going to grab that one, and we're going to put it right here for now until we get um, either a five link and we'll swap in, in this with the fifth link or we'll get a red, a triple red, or I'm sorry, a, a green, triple, I'm sorry guys, a double green, double red, and we'll use that. Or we'll just get another one and that'll be a triple green with a double red and we'll use that one, but we want to level it up anyways. And then we can purchase anything from him now. All these different ones. Very cool. Infused channeling is a really good one too, but we'll see. We'll mix it up. For right now, I'm cool with this. We're in good shape. And away we go. Oh, and uh, one second. This is going to be important. We're going to get this automation gem, and it takes one alteration. So we're going to buy this. We know we want that. So we're going to buy alt auto automation. And we might not be able to set this up right now, but we'll just work towards it at least. Then we're going to need... Uh, steel skin. And I think that's over in red. There it is. Ooh, one scroll. That's cheap. I'll take that one. We should have been leveling that up. So we're going to put it right there regardless. And then let's see if we can get phase run. I don't think we can yet. Phase run is green. We don't. It, it's not unlocked yet, but withering step might be. Withering step is... But phase run is not, really. Oh, and we need a transmute. So let's grab a transmute, and we'll come right back. And just like this, put all these away. That's fine, that's fine. That's a 10%. Hmm. We'll wait on the weapon. We need this, uh... We need this for our next weapon that we're going to be using. And we'll just get rid of this. Sell. And grab a transmute. One transmute. Where? Is that a transmute? No, that's a shard. Oops. There we go. Nice. 
yeah, I don't think we can buy phase run yet. We will get it eventually, but we don't have it right. I think it's available at like 38 or something. It's so good Purchase. Phase. It's a green gem. There's withering step, but not phase run yet. Hmm. We'll take that one. And we're going to level it up. Do we have a green slot? Yes, we do. Nice. So we're in good shape so far. We just need phase run. And that's going to make us, that whole setup, when it's automated, it's going to make us run really, really fast. It's going to be cool. So we don't need this. We'll take that off of there. Uh, steel skin, we're going to end up automating it, not paying attention to it. No no worries. And it's going to do a few things. Um, steel skin is going to remove regular bleeds from us automatically, and then it's going to put a, a barrier around us, a shield. Cool. This one's going to make us... Uh, grants us elusiveness, which is going to make us move faster. does cool things there. Then we're going to have phase run, which does the same thing, sort of, kind of. And it also uh, is going to be automated using this. So it's going to be a four link setup with this steel skin, a withering step, and that. And not only this, but you can't, this thing doesn't work in town. So if I put this on here, and we'll start leveling that up as well. And I turn it on, you're, and you're sitting there going, well, why doesn't it work? And we try to turn it on and we can't turn it on. We're like, what's going on here? I can't turn it on. Um, well, there's nothing to link to it either, but it doesn't work in town or in your hideout. It only works out in the field. So let's see if we can go back in here. Will it turn on? I don't think there's anything linked to it, so there's nothing to it. But that's okay. All right. Good stuff. Automation done. Okay. So let's uh, continue on. We'll take a look at the quests. And we'll get a, a linkage set up so that we can actually do that. We'll get that soon. There's no rush on it. We're fine without it. But I want to get it sooner rather than later. On my list of to-dos. And we're going to run in here. Oh, and Cassia. I think we'll, we, got, we got a shot here. All right, Cassia. And we'll, we'll level up the steel skin. And where is it? So we're going to do a freeze here. And then it's two things. Wow. So we'll do, a, a, I guess, a stun there. And then a stun here. Oh, I should have done a, a enhance there and an enhance there. I should have done a stun there and the enhance that way. Oh, well. Come on. And then we're going to increase the freeze once over, over there. We've got some guys coming in this way. A few of them. And we'll get this, and we're gonna improve this one. And we don't, we're gonna have to hit this guy down. He's a tough guy. And we'll zap these guys down. This is a tougher one. Ugh, I don't like that. I don't like the looks of this. I'm gonna drop this thing down my, my, uh, whatchamacallit totem. Yeah, this is gonna be too tough. I don't have the DPS for it. There's the pump durability there. We're just going to stand here and hopefully it works. No, we're not going to be able to there hitting it. And we lost. <laughs> it was just too set up. Uh, I didn't set it up correctly enough. Um, I should have hit. I don't even think it would have mattered even if I set it up correctly. That was just a bad luck. You know, it just didn't work out that way. Nice. No worries, though. We still got some loot from it. And I'll take that and I'll take that and that. All right, let's go to the next stage. It's over this way now. Generally, it's always the way forward over here is this way. Ooh, and we gotta travel to Siren, and we have to do the ascendancy now too. Ooh, -wee. very cool. Ooh, we got 39 gold out of that guy. Like it. And this is the way up. Sector of God. Very nice. All righty. Let's go uh, work our way forward, and we're going to do the, the fights ahead. If you see these uh, these guys like this with the bubbles around, you got to actually go inside the bubble to hurt them. So you got to be close to them, otherwise it won't really hurt them. Like a proximity shield. And I went and listed um, a couple more items. Uh, the 11 alterations for 1 chaos, and that unique belt that we found and I listed it for three alterations. We'll see if somebody wants to buy it for that. I just wanted to have fun with it. Ooh, we got a point to spend here. It's a big one, actually. Let's do it. 
right there. What does that do to our damage? 17. Apply. 1869. Very nice. So at 38, we're going to get Eternal Blessing, which will give us Pride for free, which is a massive upgrade, like a lot, a lot of damage, uh, 30, 40% damage more. And then at 40, we're going to get a ridiculously good weapon. I already have, have a plan for it. Very cool. Oh, and here's the tower rooftop. Here we go. Oh boy. This is a serious fight. We're going to try to tank it without any heal potions. Duelist. Oh boy. So God, we're, all our heal potions are full. I'm going to try to tank it without um, anything else. We'll see what happens here. The touch of God. I think we're getting stunned a little bit now. I don't know. Okay. Everything's fine. All right, we'll knock this guy down. We'll even pick up this stuff. Good deal. We'll spin this guy down. If we had a newer weapon right now, it'd be great, but we're going to get one soon anyways. I'm just impatient. Yeah, we'll just knock this guy down. We're getting 56 health per hit on everything. So when, especially when they have a bunch of ads like that, you jump in. Oh boy, here we go. Die! Oh boy, let's, we're gonna try to tank it. Oh, that was nope. Did we dodge it? And we face tank that. And we face tank that. This is nice so far. Ooh, that was a big hit. We didn't dodge that one <laughs> or evade. And got, we evaded that one, I guess. Easy stuff, guys. No heal potions, nothing. Oh, we'll take a look at this thing. Let's look at it while, while he's doing that. We'll ID that, that, that. We're going to vendor those. Vendor, vendor, and vendor. Let's spin and spin to win. No problem. And we're just going to crunch this guy down. So we should just be able to face tank this guy. Like, he doesn't do anything fancy. I don't know why. The Ascendant it sounds like a worse version, but you're just kind of sitting here. I never really understood. You just sit in this... I guess, like, ranged characters would have a problem with this, but I never play ranged characters. I'm just like, I just sit right here. I don't do anything. I guess they send a couple helpers over there to us. And... That's it. We'll take that, that, and that. We got a bunch of gold. I think we're even now, High Templar. Let's take a quick look at this one. We're just leveling those up. Let's see. 1869. Nah. Okay. Talk to her. Hi, Dahlia. And we're off to the next zone. Beautiful. Everything's good. Let's level these things up. And we're just going to work our way right over to the next town. I'll see you over there. This is easy stuff, though. There's a cool fight. A little... Oh, we'll do this one. Uh, get out of the blowy up stuff. What is this all about? Oh, they're pretty serious here, actually. We need a bigger AoE. Come on. We'll drop our war banner down. Yep, I really need that next weapon. I know what it's going to be, too. It's going to be the chopper chopper. Yeesh. He's really smashing at that tree, isn't he? Colossal life ask. Ask. I'll take that. I think. At a twelve? No, it's a thousand. Oh, and we'll for a chaos. Very cool. So we're gonna go like this. So we're on a free-to-play account. People are whispering us for trades. It's amazing. And we'll go to our hideout. And right here. Now I don't know if we have to update this. He should come to our hideout. Why did he go that way? I guess we'll go to his house. I don't. That's kind of weird. No, there. <laughs> I was like, no. Trade. So oh, come on, trade. Now we got another chaos. Very cool. Yeah, I was the best offer on there. Oops. And thank you. Perfect. And we'll go back into here. I'm gonna check to see if this gets updated. If I exit out of here. And we go back into, uh, where did it put me? It put me, must, it must have put me here with the portal. 
Yeah, there's the portal to where we are. Just a second. I'm gonna go check and see if we're still listed. We shouldn't be, but if not, I'll have to update the uh, forum post and post and like bump it. One second. I'm not positive, but I, I did have to manually like edit it out, like remove the item from the post. And then, yeah, that's so that's the downside of not having a premium stash. I think it updates automatically, but that's still fine. I got my, my trade done. There we go. And back into the aqueduct. What level are we? 36? Oh boy. I want to hit 40 badly now. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, what is this? I'll take that and that. And let's go to the end of this area. The cool fight right here, yep. Let's see if we can get him before he takes off again. No. Oh, we did. That's actually really good to get him on that first. Ooh, and we need these. Anything with so, um, quality on it is going to be worthwhile because we can. Um, we might be able to use it, but let's see. No, it's a mine thing, but we can vendor it. If you have 40 total quality on like three gems and you get, or four gems or five, and it adds up to 40 or more, you would get a gem cutter's prism, which are, we need a lot of those. So we'll definitely take that. Nice. Yeah, let's keep going. The town's right here. We can just ignore these guys. We want to get to the higher level creatures to fight those instead. I think it's down here. Come on. Wow. This is farther than I thought. There we go. Now we're in Highgate. Very cool. And we'll say hi to everybody. We don't really need to, but I guess we'll go talk to them all. There's a quest guy here. There's a divination card turn in guy right over this way. Nico's up there. We don't need to talk to him yet. This is where you turn in your divination cards until you get a person in your um, hideout. So if you get a stack, you can turn them in there and you get the reward for it. And then there's going to be a couple of things up, a couple of ladies up here. Dahlia and Oyen. But you don't have to take them. If you get the quest item, they, they don't require you to have the quest beforehand. You can just go get the item. Ooh, our ship's back. Let's go see what we got. So exciting. <laughs> and our miners are working on that stuff. Let's see what they're doing. There's just a little bit more ore to go. Now, the thing is with this, let's go fix these guys and let's put all of them on, or both of them, whatever it is, on the har hardest one first. And if we put both of them on petrified, even though they're not on that, they're still working, I assume. Yep, and then, it, oh yeah, now they're working on it, but then they will work on that next. And then, yeah, they'll be done very quickly. Nice. And these guys, I can't make the amber bars yet, right? Because why? Um, Increased smelting speed, but we can't make amber bars. Oh, yes, we can. So they're just working on it. Three hours. Oof. So we're going to do this. Um, well, This is a good mix. He's working on that. That's fine. We'll keep him working on that. We probably need one more miner, though. Or a smelter. Let's find out what we got. Oh, gosh. Shipping. Rewards. Mm, some stuff. Oh, we got our first scouring orb. That's cool. And a jeweler's orb. So let's see if we can get... I would like to do a, a bigger crew. Let's see. We can afford this, I think. Let's see how much uh, gold we have on us. Let's do this. Add. How much do we have on us? 900. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, what do we get? Oh, have at least 1,000 gold in the in the treasury. We had a real uh, achievement for that. So, let's see if we can upgrade this. Plus 2 to the maximum on that. So we can get more um, sailors on there. So, upgrade it. And then we don't have enough ship. We only have two crew. So let's see if we can get another crew member maybe on there to so that we can ship larger crew, uh, shipments. And how much does it cost? 120 to reroll? Shipment? Ugh, we need that farmer, though. So we didn't get another... Sh uh, I don't want to reroll, and I don't want to take this. This is a lot of gold. Let's have fun. 
that farmer we're not going to pass up that farm oh and a uh, level a rank three mine we need both these guys we need this guy and that guy I'll give them the tour. and that is a smelt no it's a farmer okay so let's do it <laughs> come on shipper oh we got another shipping guy hire him okay so we got another farmer going um do we want to put him on pumpkins or something i guess so he could really farm fast um I don't want to put him on. I don't want to. I don't want to spend the money on him yet. Or, you know, we've hired him. I just don't want to put him to work yet. Uh oh, it just froze. I don't know why. Huh? Who's that? But we're gonna go into shipping. We're gonna put another guy on our crew, and then we're gonna select the port. We're gonna send corn. We already sent enough corn. We'll send orichalcum. I'd like to send some wheat. You know, for for um, if we send farming products, we get currency back. But we'll send this. And then how much does he want of the aura calcum? 18. 18. Okay, and then we'll send. Looks like we have a, some extra of this. Let's see how high we can put this. Not bad. I don't want to send all that, though. I'll send a little, little of each. And a little pumpkins, too. About that many. That's fine. Set sail. Off we'll get a mix go. of stuff. Nice. All right, let's see if they're going to sell any um, decent item yeah, level yes. two handed weapons here. Purchase. No, not from them. Take Maybe care. this guy? What do Kira? You want? Uh, two handed axe. What's the item level? 37. Any two handed swords? No, but we could swap off for that. I don't know. Ooh, here's a four link. That's kind of nice. Red, 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 green. That would supplant that. Yeah, I like that. That'd be fine. So let's let's give it a shot. We gotta have some fun here. Take a risk and we'll see what happens here. Um lightning, a bunch of that. Enemy killed. There's no way this is gonna be better, right? And it's it's an elemental weapon. We'll see. And 1656. Nah. Close, but no cigar. Yes. So. It's okay. We'll stick with this. And you got to go down here and into the dried lake. And we're going to go get a flag down here. Let's do that. And now it's a level 34 area, a little better. And then we're going to be level 37. And then we'll get Eternal Blessing at 38. 39, we get the weapon. Very cool. All right. Ooh, nice. But we have a way forward with a lot of damage yet. But I definitely need more. <laughs> I'm tanky. I'm really tanky. It's just that I need more damage. I want those guys to pop. See those big guys right there? They should be dropping a lot faster than that right now. We'll get there. I mean, I could risk it right now and just throw um, pride on, but nah. There we go. All right, I'll be right back. There's a fight. And we unlocked attack speed. Very cool. Let's see if we can tank this. I've been trying to tank everything, so let's see if we can tank this. He does some big hits. Oh, he kind of stunned us there a little bit. Let's knock these guys out. Here he comes. Oh, not that one. The overhead, this one. Bam. Oh, we missed it. Very dodged or something. I don't know. Oh, he did some things. Oh, he summoned a bunch of helpers. Bam. <laughs> and he's done. How many uh, portals do we have? 16 of them? We're going to use a portal and just go back. It seemed to me, Vol, Very easy. That I just did you easy, easy. And we'll pop into here. Who wanted that? Let's see. Oh, this guy wants it up here. And I'll sell this stuff off and I'll be right back. All right. And we can talk to... Oh. Does Nika want to talk to us about some or tsunami? Tsunami? <laughs> Tusuni? What is this this guy's name? Tasuni. The gate. Oh, baited. All right, and we'll just pop over this way. 
And we're going to go into here. Ooh, we might be able to do a little bit of delves, too. I just want to get... Uh, before we go into delve, I'll, I'll, I'll hit 40. But this is the sulfite that we need to um, power our mining cart down there. Nice. And we're going to make our... Uh, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger now. There we go. Now it's even bigger. Nice. Oh, let's go get that other one. There's three of them. When you see one in here, there will always be three um, in a zone or a map or an area. You see one, let's see how it's two of three. Pretty cool. Nice. And I'm going to work through this area and I'll be right back. Ooh, and here's a crafting recipe sitting here. Don't want to miss that one socket colors. Now we can use our crafting bench to change socket colors on things. Pretty nice. I don't know what those were. And I'm going to be switching over to Pulverize too, which is going to be um, even more damage. I'm going to get rid of this close combat. And we'll go from there. And we have to invite Faustus and the King's Hand to our uh, hideout as well, so we can access them from the hideout. We don't have to go into King's March. Whoa, easy. That guy's a deadly guy here. And we'll knock this guy out. And we'll take that. Sacred Light. Ooh, 1200. Take it. And we could even trade these in for the next level up. Nice. Those three will trade in Venderum. Also, this sulfite is going to allow us to go into Delve, but I'm going to wait until 40 to go into Delve with a new weapon and everything. Um, it'll just be easier. There's no rush to go into Delve anyways, because once we level up and hit maps, the end game, then we're going to go deeper into Delve and it automatically puts you down there. Let's uh, go get this thing. And let's find out what this is all about. Did it say Reflect? I don't think, it, I don't think, I don't think they'll give you a Reflect mod this early. Meaning if um, the damage you do gets reflected back to you and you instantly die. So it's a... I wish that mod wasn't around. Kind of cheesy. You hit something and then it kills yourself. So, yeah. Just a, like a trap. And away we go. Val Haste is pretty cool. Um, we'll even start leveling that up. We'll put it right there. We'll just level that up. Oh, and let's take a look at it. I'll let you pause um, movement speed, attack speed, but then the other one does you and nearby allies 60% movement speed, and then it's I guess it's a more multiplier when you when you do the Val version of it. Pretty cool. I don't know if we'll use it, but we'll throw it on there. Nice. Here's another hideout. I've already unlocked it, but you can go in there and uh, you know knock it out, kill all the stuff in there, and you'll get that hideout, and it'll look like this. Let's go in there and it'll look like this. Pretty cool. Ah, we'll kill everything. And let's just finish these guys off. Mission complete. Well, there's not much to it. <laughs> that was an easy one. And it's unlocked. There we go. Ooh, and we'll level up that and that. And we still have to do the ascendancy. Ugh. There's a lot of, lot to do, but I've been trying to... I've been trying... Oh, we got to hit 38. We can do the eternal blessing. So we got to do that at the next... Um, Thing, but then how are we going to link it up? Maybe there? Let's take a look. Oh, it's right here. Cold damage. Very cool. All right. Let's go to Act 3. Do we have Eternal Blessing? Oh, no. We, we weren't able to buy it. So let's see if... Let's see how much it costs. And let's see if they actually allow us to buy it now. They should. Let's see. Eternal Blessing support. No, they don't? Really? Maybe we have to unlock it. Did I spell that right? Eternal. Purchase. Blessing. Anything left? Blessing. Uh, it's not that one. Not this one. Not that one. Wow. Hmm. Not uh, those tabs. Interesting. I think we get it through a quest reward. Should be around here somewhere. Let's let's uh, go back to town. Or no, right in here. No, Act Four. Right there. Okay. <laughs> and we'll talk to her. 
and we have to go down both sides, the cold and the the uh, the cold and the fire side. All right. So what? Can't, we can't do eternal blessing yet. Hmm. These aren't all linked up, but this is kind of just a mess right now. We're we're getting there. I mean, the thing is, it's we're it's no big deal because <laughs> we're, we're completely fine here. Oddly enough, the next point we're gonna spend. I know we're going to need some accuracy pretty soon, so we're going to get these. We're going to work over here and get these. Um, we could do that. And yeah, even though that's, yeah, we're going to have to take that point right there. I was thinking maybe we could undo one of these, but no, not really. Good enough. And then we're going to grab these three next and maybe even this one. Oh, no, no, no. We won't need this in the middle yet for a while, if at all. Okay, uh, let's go in here, and we're going to rip through and do all these guys. I'll be right back. It's just a regular fight. There's nothing fancy about this. You just make sure that, um, you, you really should make sure that your defenses, see how we're capped? 75, 75, 75 on the resists. You just want to make sure they're, you know, fight. if you don't have fire resistance here, you're going to have a hard time. <laughs> Something else that we have to do is we have to go get a couple of uh, Cyclone Gems. We're going to have to buy a couple more, probably three more, uh, probably four more, and start leveling those up as well in the background. Because there's a possibility that we could land, we're going to try to convert them into um, tumults through the, the labyrinth that we're going to do. There's a lab run that we do. There's an altar. You put it on there and you have a chance of turning it into a cyclone of tumult gem. Fairly decent chance, actually. So we're going to go do that. And then if we get a couple of them, we could actually sell one. I don't know how much they sell for. We'll, we'll have to take a look at that as well. We'll probably end up, because we don't have very much chaos, we're going to end up having to um, having to cr craft our own there. Which is doable. It's not too bad. Yeah, we'll just cruise through here. It should, be, it should be doable in the tier one lab to the very first lab that we do. We'll see. Ooh, we got our first uh, sacrifice at dusk fragment too. Pretty cool. We're going to be using lots of those. So let's put a section up for those. Uh, we'll put it right there. And we'll tuck these away. And dive right back in. Um, we need to go buy that. Um, I don't know if they're, they cost these. Or transmutes. So we'll bring both. And let's go buy that before we forget. Library. Just like this. Cyclone of Tumult. Or not Cyclone, just Cyclone. Purchase. Friend. And Cyclone. Where's Cyclone? Looks like that. Cyclone. Ooh, right there. Orb of Chance. Ugh. Very expensive. But I think we have some. I figured I'd brought the wrong one, but that's okay. Oops. We're going to be able to sell that for another uh, chaos again. And we could even check the um, the shipping thing, too. And do we have some chance orbs? Ooh, we do. We need four of them. And triple green. We're not going to level this up anymore, but we're going to save it. This is an important one. And we definitely need to look out for not bow, but like a, we need triple green and then double green and maybe our green and the two reds so that's old good because we gotta level some other gems up too okay so let's go back in act three go back in here and now we have not forgotten this this is a good thing purchase items right there cyclone which is right where'd it go cyclone oh come on Right there? No. There. <laughs> One. I don't like spending these chance orbs because we need those for maps when we get to maps. From Kyrick, but oh well. There we go. And we're just going to pop all these in here. Seems weird to do this, but trust me, you want to. And there we go. And we're going to work on this one as well. So we'll put that there. This is done. That was our reminder to go do that. Oh, and Colossals. Um, uh, we'll put that there. 
removes curse. I guess we'll have a remove curse one. We'll just chuck that on the ground. Go back into town. Act four. And we'll continue on. We're about to hit 39 and then 40, or are we almost hitting 40? Oh, we're almost hitting 40 next. Beautiful. Let's spend this point here, and then we're going to get the weapon. Oh, boy, a lot of things. Nice. And, uh, oh, the thing we just spent. Sorry, go a little too quick. We're, I know that the next weapon isn't going to have any accuracy on it, so we're going to need some. So we're going to spend here, here, and there, and that should be enough for a while. Cool. Oh, and he wants to talk to us. What does he want to get? Something cool? Very cool. <laughs> two points. Beautiful. One, two. Oh, just one point. That's okay. Thought he gave us two. <laughs> All right, uh, back into here, and we'll keep the going, and then I'll be back in a second. Oh, and I want to pick up this stuff. Bomb stronghold. We'll upgrade that, and it's towards the end of this area, so we'll get there. Two sockets, two to four linked. So instead of rolling with uh, the jeweler's orbs, you can actually craft and say, "Hey, I want four sockets on this." You can do it that way too. Let's, you have options. Very cool. All right, we're about to turn 40, so we're going to get uh, a ton of... Uh, the, the, what's going to happen is huge here in a second. That's so very cool. Well, let's knock this guy out. But right now, see how our damage is... It's okay-ish, but it's not great at all. Let's drop this guy down. War banner. I mean, we're, we're perfectly safe, uh, but I want more damage, and we're about to get huge damage. I wonder how much EXP we'll get for this fight. Come on. And then we can do the uh, lab as well. Oh, boy. Yeah, this guy should be dead already. But, oh, well. We just got unlucky on, on some of the weapon drops, which is fine. Uh, luck won't matter after this, because we're just going to be buying the items we need. And we're going to go back over here. And back into town. Did we pick up the item? We, yep, there's the item we needed for the thing. Uh, we are... Oh, we're not quite level 40, but we'll get that. Let me sell this, and I'll hit level 40 by jumping in this area over here. Yeah, I just jumped in here. We hit level 40, no problem. And we'll just jump back in. And now let's go uh, buy the new weapon. It's amazing. And I'll show you how to do it right now. Hopefully it won't be too expensive. We'll find out. But right now we're sitting at 1758 damage in town. It's, it's going to go a lot. <laughs> so what, what can we spend this point on? Let's see. Let's see here. Oh, right here. We're going to need that, actually. A lot. Because right now... Yeah, that'll replace... Uh, we're going to lose 185, 200-ish from that. So, yeah, that's a big chunk down. Okay. Let's we'll go buy that weapon. Okay. So we went to the trade site and typed in chopper like that. And this is the item. So now let's do some filters. Um, we would like a four socket one, maybe a four link with two green and two red. Let's see if we can get that at all. We could 20. It jumps up to 20. Um, we can get that. So let's say we can't get it that way. This is a strength based, based item. What if we were to use our own? So we say, okay, we don't care about this. So let's see what that looks like. Search. Now a little more uh, drops down to one <laughs> alteration um i would like to do that let's see if we'll he'll do that deal i don't even care i mean this is a 300 dps weapon so we're gonna copy that and let's see if he'll do the deal i mean i don't think he wants to sell it for an alteration he might just try to be trying to get rid of it or he's trying to say hey these are only worth this much and then see if other people buy them but that's not very effective with those things We'll put it there in just in case. But otherwise, we'll put this over here, and we'll go from there. So we might not get a four link, but we'll go look. So he's not responding back, so let's go uh, take a look back over there. So now we're going to say, okay, just four links, and we're, we want to spend a max of two chaos. And then we're going to sort by physical DPS. 313, but he's AFK, so that would be cool. Um, can we do a direct whisper? Let's see if that works. 
scent. Oh, but he's AFK. Now, if I hear a little bing sound, that means he's he was just AFK, but he responded then. But that's a no-go. Um, this one, 311. And we're okay with that. Let's uh, Let's give this a shot. Direct whisper. And let's see if he replies. We got one, and this is a six socket item. Interesting. Visit the hideout. I think we have both of our chaos on here. Yep. Oh, he's got his guys really <laughs> bunched up here. <laughs> and he's in King's March. We could go visit him, but the protocol is you're supposed to go to the hideout and wait. So I'm going to wait for a second. There he is. And the other protocol is he opens the trade with you. And then you say accept and put the items in and then done done very cool two chaos thank you very much and away we go we'll go back to our hideout we've got our 40 so just to put it in context here it is um as is we'll go like this and use our one on that uh, that's good it's only going to be a one percent we don't want to do that um it will only raise it up one percent um, on the quality. I don't think it raises it more than that. I noticed that earlier when we tried to quality up something. Was it this? Yeah, 1%. So don't do that, I don't think. Um, oh, we could actually um, enchant it as well. So we have to do that. So let's go do that first. And we're going to go into King's March. And we have some runes in our... in our... in there. There goes the adventure. What can we put on there? Nothing? Oh, it's a unique. We can't do, do it to unique. Sorry. No problem. Okay, here's the moment of truth. 2,000 we're sitting at currently. Moment of truth. Uh, what is this one? War banner and that. That doesn't matter. And here we go. What? Why can't we use it? Um, is it because one of these doesn't work? Oh, axes and swords. Yeah, we're going to take that off. That's okay. We're bailing out on that one. And because this is a, this is a mace, well, we're already at 4,500. <laughs> so you can already see the big difference there. And now we're going to put, um, we're going to try to roll this one. Oh, this is the risky part here, guys. Let's see what we can roll here. We're already still way ahead of where we're at. We've got 20 rolls on it. Let's do it. We need green, green, and pulverized. So, so we need... Green, green, red, red in this somewhere in here. I think we can do it. Come on. Nope. Now, infusion wouldn't be bad, but that's not going to be it. We need at least two green. Oh, come on. Come on. Nope. Nope. Ooh, that's nice, but no. <laughs> oh, this is getting scary now. One green. Now I have to decide, hey, do I bail out on faster attacks? Not yet. We're going to get a green. One more. Oh, this is getting risky now. But, okay, the next green that pops up, I've got to take it. Because we... we get, oh, we got it! We got it! We got it! <laughs> Cyclone. Faster attacks. Woo! It's risky. Pulverize. And... Melee fizz. Oh, and two blues down here. Interesting. Those aren't good, but we're, it's okay. Um, so now we've got... We, we can swap around with this and figure it out there. We're in good shape. Woo! Um, we could actually do this and hopefully get a blue. We need one blue on here. Uh, that would... We need... I'm risking it. We need a blue... And it's not all greens. A blue. A blue. A single blue. We struck out. <laughs> oh, well. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter now. These are all linked up. I wanted to be able to link these up, but don't, no worries. So this is a goner. We don't need to deal with that anymore. Uh, the war banner we can put right here. And this we can put right here. Not bad. And steel skin we're not really using yet. I did I really wanted to automate it. We could do it like this and maybe get lucky with a link. Let's see if we can get lucky with a link this way. Oh, gotta take those out, I guess. 
and let's link that up. No, not that one. Ooh, nice. So now we can do automation with that. And you can't turn it on in your, um, it doesn't, uh, doesn't actually fire off in your uh, hideout or it, this'll, this'll automate itself out in the field when you're, when you're hunting. Whee, that was a lot. So we're going to vendor that, vendor that, and oh. sell, and sell. And now we are in great shape. Let's see. 5,600. Let's go test this out real quick. Oh boy. Uh, act four. Let's go right back over here where we just had. And here we go. Oh boy. Uh, he's still a chunker, isn't he? But that's still, we're way better off. And, oh, we're going to be leveling that up. There we go. Oh, much nicer. Much nicer. And then we can sprint. Jump around. So smash these guys down. Ooh, those are some hit heavy hits. What does that uh, chopper chopper do? It does something else, too. Um, wait a second. Come on. Uh, what does it do here? Socketed melee gems. Good. So it raised the, the level up on that plus one level so that helps it and then it does the mana doesn't matter the minions increased maximum that uh, that doesn't matter for us increased skill effect duration might affect something and oh and uh better stuns on uh the monsters so this is what it's doing now oh let's open this up just destroy it very nice oh what is he still doing the left and we'll just come up here. Much better. Much better. Oof. And we have a bigger uh, bigger area too now. See, that? it's stretching out that far. And then once we get Cyclone of Tumult, it's going to be even bigger, stronger, better, faster. Awesome. I'm loving it. Oof. Finally. Oh, and we level all these up. Easy there, guys. They want to mess with us. Yeah. Oh, and we'll do this. Nice. Okay, so we're in really good shape. Our ship should be in pretty soon, actually. A minute, no problem. We're going to go... How are we doing on the wages? Two hours worth. We're going to add more to him. We'll just add all that in there. Now we've got 15 hours worth of wages. Our, all that's going well. We got to invite him, invite him to the hideout. We did that. Invite the king or the king's hand here. Oh, maybe he's already in our hideout. Off to double check. Um, what else were we going to do here? One second. We have to track down that eternal blessing, um, gem and get pride working. Uh, where is it right here? No, up here, there. So we're going to have to turn it on pride. It'll be free too. So we're going to get that done and let's see what else. Oh, I wanted to check on this guy right here. So we need 25, we need 25 out of here. So we're going to remove, there's our ship back 25 because we're going to see if we can actually set what the current price is for these things. Oh, not sell it that way. Sell it that way. I have these and I would like chaos. And what's the current price? 10 to one. I'll take it done that's way easier than what we were dealing with but then the price gets you know now it's up to 13 sometimes it jumps up to 18 so what i might do is just put 10 in there if i have them right now i don't and then once i get up to 10 i'll just put 10 in there as an offer and then somebody maybe it'll dip down and then i'll get the get the offer for it and that would that'll that'll work out that way that way i don't have to do the um trading on the forum website but either way we'll see what happens uh, let's go see where we get this. Hello. Oh, in the next episode, we're going to do our lab. We've been putting that off because I just wanted to get this weapon. It's going to make things easy in there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Local. And per oh, shipping. Let's see what we got. Rewards. Hmm, what are these? Ooh, we need that. Oh, we got a chaos. Very cool. Very, very cool. 
Oh, and we got a bobble. Those are those are valuable. <laughs> those are very useful, actually. So let's select port. Um, now this one only needs two more wheat to complete itself, and this guy needs eighteen more aura calcum. So we'll do that one, and eighteen aura calcum, right? Aura calcum, eighteen. We'll give him eighteen, and then. Um, we'll give them a little bit of, we'll give them some wheat. We just want more currency back, just like we had before. We'll get the, I don't want any risk though. I want a guaranteed, almost guaranteed. There's still weird things can happen, but done. Set sail. There we go. I think we're in good shape. We're spinning big spinnies. Everything's good. Um, We've got our first automation going. We're going to turn on even more of those. Uh, we're going to get phase run linked to it. We're going to be... The escalation of this is going to go up, 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 up. So we're going to be in really good shape. Oh, those are kind of interesting, but nope. You can put life on these and maybe try to sell them. Nah. There's no movement speed. <laughs> All right. With that said, let's do the next episode and have a good one. And we're going to go even... The acceleration of our character is going to really take off from here. This weapon is going to help out a lot. We were just... We just got unlucky with weapons from level like... Like 22 to 24... 26-ish to about 40. But it was easy. I mean, it was still easy to do. It's just... I was like, come on, kill this guy. Come on, kill, You know, we were like, ugh. It was worse than a chicken. How goes the <laughs> Have a good one, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. Very nice. Chickens.